physicists have identified four fundamental forces at play in nature. There's a strong nuclear force that holds atoms together, the weak nuclear force that also has to do with holding together particles and atoms, and gravity, with which we're all familiar, and then electromagnetism is the fourth. Electricity and magnetism are really one and the same thing. For something so fundamental, magnetism often gets overlooked. Besides holding notes on your refrigerator, magnets rarely show up in an average person's daily life. Magnetism is not something that we normally deal with. You can't feel a magnetic field. You can run a, a magnet over yourself and you don't feel a thing. So it isn't part of our daily experience. The key component of magnetism is that it attracts and repels. I'm holding here two magnets to illustrate how magnetic fields work and frankly how strong they are. Right now the they're attracting one another and I have to really pull to pull them apart. But they also can repel each other and I can illustrate it by putting it on this post. If I put the first one down and drop the second one, I really can't push it down, it just bounces. In fact, the only thing that keeps people from walking through walls or falling through the floor is magnetism. Molecules and atoms are extremely small and the space between atoms is extremely large. At an atomic level, almost everything is made of empty space. The distance between the electrons that are orbiting around the protons in the nucleus is fairly immense. It's like this fan. If you let the electrons be the blade and the center be the nucleus, if there's no motion taking place there, you would pass right through things. It's not solid. So why is it solid? It's because the electromagnetic attraction between the negatively charged electron and the positively charged proton, it captures it and it spins around. So if it's spinning really fast, like the fan blades of this fan, representing the electrons around the atom, it bounces right off. That's why you don't fall through the floor and why you can't walk through walls. <laughs> 